Hi, my name's Rocco, and welcome back to my healthy kitchen. Today we are making a smoky, healthy vegan loaf, which this recipe makes three beautiful loaves, which you can freeze and have for later. Great for lunch, cold with a salad, and for winter months, beautiful with steamed vegetables. So there's quite a few ingredients, a lot of them you might have at home, but um, let's explain this simply, and it's gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna cut it so you don't have to watch me chop everything up and let's get started. So you need some two peppers, capsicum to call in Australia, onion, tomato, pasta sauce, the red split lentils, pesto, vegan pesto, oats, cooked quinoa, and some almond meal, walnuts, some egg substitute. If you don't have that, you can use chia seeds. We've got some corn flour, vegan cheese, some breadcrumbs, and in the food processor you've got um, onion, tomato, some um, oregano, and parsley, and we're gonna blend it in with the walnuts, some garlic, and some um, chickpeas. You're not gonna remember all this, that's why I'm gonna write it down for you. And in regards to being a vegan meat loaf, or vegan veggie loaf, as we call it, um, if you're not a vegan, you just wanna have a veggie, um, a veggie dish, you can opt for palms and cheese and use egg. Um, in regards to finding, you want to make things simple. So, um, you know, you're not going to attempt this recipe if it's too hard if you're not a vegan. But um, I have designed it for um, my vegan friends. And um, it's good to have some meat free days in the diet. So let's get started. So we need to saute this dish, which is capsicum, onion, tomatoes, tomato sauce, a bit of water and we'll go to the kitchen. So we're blending the parsley, garlic, chickpeas, and walnuts in the food processor. Remember not to uh, blend it for too long. I add a bit of garlic as well. In the meantime, you saute the capsicum and garlic, which I'm gonna do in a tick. And that's easy, a few seconds and it's done. That's part of the recipe, so it's got parsley, garlic, chickpeas, and walnuts. And I can already smell the flavor. And just add a bit of um, paprika, and some chili as well. You know, if you're cooking this for your kids, they may not like the chili. And I found this in the supermarket, it's a smoky spice blend, which um, has got a few other ingredients in there. Just adds a bit more flavor to your veggie loaf. Now I'll start to saute the other part of the recipe. Now here's a little trick my mother taught me. Just add a bit of garlic and parsley and olive oil. Remember to get some good olive oil. You can do this for your pasta sauce as well. And so first I place a bit of parsley and garlic to saute in olive oil. And then after add the capsicum, red onion, and a bit of chopped tomatoes. Add some smoked flavors and just Sauté this for a few minutes. So I've sauteed some garlic, parsley first in olive oil, then added the onion, capsicum, tomato, then the red lentils, pasta sauce. You can add a bit of water as well. And this let it simmer for about 10 minutes until the lentils are nicely cooked. Remember to add the smoky flavors as well. So it's been cooking for 10 minutes, so you want to add the quinoa, your oats as well. And for a few minutes, give it a good stir. And as you can see, it's forming a great mixture. And as I said, I've combined all the ingredients. I did forget to let you know there's semi-dried tomatoes in there. Um, Sun-dried tomatoes, so you can add them in, just chopped up, just um, a handful. So the recipe will be on the YouTube link and Facebook. So we're gonna make three meat loaves, or you can put it into a big baking dish as well. It depends on what you have at home. So I'm gonna use my hands, clean hands. And as you can see, the texture it's really easy to um, to make your meat loaves. So we're going to combine. Here we have it. We've got 
three beautiful veggie loaves. I added a bit of sauce, which I already did. Some oregano, or oregano, as we call it. This is um, freshly dried oregano. So if you've got a, um, your own garden, I highly recommend drying your own um, oregano. It's just so much better, especially on your vegan pizzas as well. Just can smell the flavor. So preheat the oven, medium heat for about an hour and a half with these beauties and enjoy, like my Facebook page, Vita Health and Fitness, comment, share this video, and I'll see you soon. Ciao for now.